The jury today heard opening statements in the lawsuit against an area gun dealer. Two Milwaukee police officers claimed the gun dealer missed signs of what's called a straw sale. The defense says they did everything right. Veronica Macias live with their story. Yeah, today during opening statements, the attorney for the two injured police officers told the jury that he would show them how Badger Guns missed all the signs that they were selling weapons to straw buyers. Those are buyers that would take the gun, then give it to somebody else. Meanwhile, the defense said they're going to show that they used all the means to scan their customers. It is not a case about the Second Amendment. Attorney Patrick Dumfrey represents officers Brian Norberg and Graham Kunich. Dumfrey told the jury this case is about what he called the gun dealer's carelessness in selling guns and personal injury to two police officers. Yes, the criminal pulled the trigger and shot these officers, but there needed to be a trigger to pull. And that trigger came from the straw buyer and Badger Guns. The plaintiffs claims Badger Gun failed to properly scan the buyer, Jacob Collins. They claim that conflicting answers on state and federal forms alone should have stopped the sale. Video shown in court shows both Collins and Julius Burton inside the store. Burton shot officers Brian Norberg and Graham Kunich in June of 2009. They pulled CT scans of Kunich's skull and pictures of Norberg's injuries. Five bullet holes. Two in the top of his skull, two in his hand, one in his shoulder. The defense did not deny the facts of the sale. However, it pointed to the fact that the buyer admitted buying the gun only to turn around and hand it to someone else. Jacob Collins passed the background check performed by the Crime Information Bureau in Madison. Badger Guns was told by the Crime Information Bureau that it was. Jacob Collins was legally entitled to buy the gun and Badger Guns was authorized to sell it to him. Instead, the defense focused on the history of a family-owned business and that they never conspired to sell to straw buyers. Guys, and though it's been said that this is a personal injury case, a civil case, people on both sides of the gun debate are closely watching this trial, this case, to see what the outcome is. Tomorrow, we will hear from the first witness. Reporting in downtown Milwaukee, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Could open the door to more lawsuits. Veronica, thanks.